Hi everybody, and welcome to the Orals Marvel Champions playthrough, where we play the various heroes of Marvel Champions against a variety of villains. It's a happy new year. Uh, we're in the middle of no new content for Marvel Champions for the moment until they release the Age of Apocalypse box. So uh, that means playing heroes we've played before with some new aspect cards, trying something different. So today we're going to play Thor against On the Run uh, from the Next Evolution expansion because this has some potential. And I'm going to do Thor Leadership because I haven't played a leadership deck in a minute because I don't know. I don't play leadership very often. But I do play Thor Leadership because it's kind of fun. And, you know, we got these new aerial cards like Flying Formation that we're not going to use because it's super expensive. But we have Air Supremacy, which is fun. So we're going to play a Thor Air Supremacy deck, which is, you know, overkill for the number of guys we have. But we like Air Supremacy. Call for backups, good. Rally the troops, maybe. Uh, let's see. One deck I played recently with Thor that was fun and totally inconsistent and wacky, just like Thor is a sneak attack deck. So we're going to do some sneak attacking with aerial allies and toss in a couple copies to go down swinging for some extra damage because you know that's what Thor needs, right? Damage. Um, and we just we throw in all of our aerial allies who are super expensive. Um, better to build too. He's not aerial but he's Asgard. That's practically as good. Maybe we won't keep him. I don't know. We'll see. Um, because we did get someone like Sunspot. See, so so we can do Sunspot instead. But let me see. All right. Uh, who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Ariel. We have Pixie. Probably not Pixie. Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock is great. Good friends with Thor. Um, ever since their first encounter. Cloud9. So Cloud9 is really nice multiplayer when you have someone else to be aerial and you can use her to boost their thwart and they can thwart a bunch of times. Not nearly as effective solo, I don't think. Hello. Maybe we'll go back to her. To her. She's a her. They are all. Alright, we have Sunspot being the new aerial ally. What else we got? Falcon. Walking Phoenix. Um... Android Avenger. Oh, that's everybody. Alright. So Falcon I think is good. Let's go to basic allies. We have some basic aerial allies. Um, a couple of them are X-Men, so that's not going to work for us because we are not a mutant or an X-Men. But that's okay. Uh, Snowguard can be aerial, and it's her thwarting version, which is not too bad. Just through the Ariel. Ah! Consider it. She can do other stuff too. It's just not Venom. Snowguard. You know, she can be Thor's friend. Ooh, Cannonball. If we're going Ariel, we could go Cannonball. Now, most of our Ariel cards are our allies. So, let's see here. I don't think we have much. None of his, like, cool cards are aerial, right? Yeah, nothing's aerial there. So that's going to make Cannonball hard, because the only cards we have are Air Supremacy and Allies. He's often going to be taking Consequential, so we won't go with that. Um, he wants somebody that has aerial events. Uh, I feel like I missed somebody. Okay, Angel. Vivian. Vivian's always good. So we'll pull her. And that's pretty much everybody. We have Hope Summers. She can fetch us superpowers, which we have superpowers. Um, we've got at least Lightning Strike and Hammer Throw. The question is, what about... Yeah, God of Thunder is not a superpower. Hmm... 
She only works on play. So you won't she can't be sneak attacked. We want people we can sneak attack. Actually a storm wouldn't be bad on that account. That's six allies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe that's enough. We don't even need all of them. Let's not take Beta Ray Bill. Even though I love taking Beta Ray Bill. Because, you know, he doesn't work anywhere. Um, oh, one thing we do like. We like. Uh, not to, build support, I think? Yeah, build support lets us play Asgard. All we have to do is thwart it, but it only takes three, which means a single Defender of the Nine Realms. Great. Alright, back to leadership stuff. Let's see. So, we can sneak attack, we can go down swinging. Air Supremacy, what else do we need? We need readies, because, let's face it, if we're going to do that, we want to be able to ready people. And if we play Asgard from our hand, we would like to have a command team to ready people with. All right, command teams are good. None of those support aerial characters. Uh, let's see, we have other basic cards we like. Like Queen Carrier is always fun for Thor and Team building exercise, potentially. It'll work for all of our stuff. We also have Def Focus, which is good because all of those superpowers we just looked at. Um, downtime is good, or crew quarters maybe would be better. Crew quarters is another support, I think. There it is, crew quarters. Some healing. Healing's good. Alright, what is that? At least one, two uh, resources. Back to the Avenger style. Alright. Oh, power of flight. Ooh, power of flight is interesting. That's, I don't know. It only plays for allies, though. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. We get one more card. So power of flight. If Power of Flight worked in some of these other cases, maybe we just played Command Team, I might consider it. Mansion's not bad. Because it's like having a second copy of Asgard in a lot of ways. So many ways. Um, so it's my inclination. My other inclination would be to have an extra sneak attack or something. Uh, I mean, we're not running the thwart version of go down swinging. We could. It's really hard to play, though. That's what I found, anyways. When I was playing this deck, that was two player. Uh, oh, rapid response can be fun with. Yes, let's do rapid response. Just one copy. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need consistency. This is not a consistency deck. We're not trying to win all the games. We're just trying to win one game. All right. So, there we go. There's our leadership deck. It's a sneak attack deck with aerial trait. Um, oh, ooh, ooh. Nope, hold on. Did not think about that. We cannot sneak attack in Snowguard. So, she is out. Even if she's cool for being Ariel in play, she can't be played. So we'll we'll just we'll stick with Beta Ray Bill. Good old Beta Ray Bill. Lots of damage. Because that's what our deck needs. Damage. Not thwart. Who needs to thwart? Nobody. That's who. That's what um what's it called? De Defender of the Nine Realms. That's what Defender of the Nine Realms is for. Thwarting. We could have done a power of regression. Eh. We'll see how this works.
Alrighty, so we are fighting the Marauders. Uh, this is the random villain it gave us, but I'm gonna shuffle it up, closing my eyes, and that's who we get. Ooh, it's Harpoon. Fun. Alright, so Harpoon's our villain. He likes fighting aerial people, uh, based on, you know, Angel. Angel's nemesis, right? Um, we've got the standard modular sets in here. I'm not doing anything weird. And... He is confident. So I need to remove his minion. So it's Harpoon. Harpoon. You're out, buddy. I will never get your minion. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all that does. And he's going to be steady, I think, right? Yeah, lovely. Marauder minions have steady. He also has steady. And we get a Marauder to start the game. Does this work? No. Alright, who are the Marauders? We've got Grey Crow. 4 health, retaliate 1. Annoying interrupt. Blockbuster guard. Chimera. Chimera's not bad. He's not even. Riptide is four threat. We'll go with Vertigo. She's gonna stun somebody. She has four health, which is kind of annoying for Thor because he just does three damage, but. We'll see what we can do. What we can do is draw Mjolnir. Alright, so Lady Sif seems great as an option here. That really helps me in dealing with 5 health minions and various other problems. Now the Marauders had engagement text. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, so we don't need Mjolnir. We're not going to hold on to crew quarters for first turn. Let's see, we're going to have six cards in our hand counting Mjolnir. We're going to play Defender of the Nine Realms. That'll draw us two cards and give us a minion. Trying to count cards is always a pain. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, four cards that lets us play Lady Sif. Uh, when we defend the nine rooms, we can play Mjolnir. So we can play Mjolnir and Lady Sif. That is it. So no team building exercise. Alright. What well, we get? God of Thunder, Air Supremacy. So those are options. Okay. First thing we do is we pull Mjolnir. Now we need the aerial trait. It's very important to this deck, as you may have noticed. So we're definitely going to do stuff for that. Flip the arrow form. We're going to defend her the Nine Realms. Oh good, no favorite weapon. I appreciate not having to deal with that. It's Gorgeous George. Forced interrupt. When he attacks me, exhaust a character I control. Okay, I draw two cards. And I cleared all the threat off the main scheme because I'm cool. So, let's see. I did not get a double resource, which is unfortunate because that would have let me play God of Thunder. If I play God of Thunder for two, then that's one, two, three, four for Lady Sif. Which is terrible. I can't do that. Um, so whatever. Vertigo is going to live. It's fine. We're going to spend one for Mjolnir. I'm going to punch this dude for it. 
three. Then I'm going to pay one, two, three, four for Lady Sif, which readies me. I'll punch that girl for free for three. And I will kill Gorgeous George. And I draw my four card hand. Oh look, it's all my double resources. What a surprise. One turn. Harpoon attacks me for three plus a boost. And I take three indirect damage or I give him an extra card. I guess that's probably likely to be less than three damage, so I'll give him an extra card. Take five. Then I can either stun a character, I'll stun Lady Sif, that's fine. Except for I got Blockbuster. Ah. Hey, I got a minion. I get to draw two cards. Oh, excellent. Air Supremacy. Except for that I only have one... one aerial ally. I drew both my Asgard allies. Um, That's fine. We'll do better than I gnomes. Because that's always fun. Excellent. It's Grey Crow. Drawing me two cards and removing three threat. So, oh, wait. Sorry. I take that back. Uh, just ignore me for a second. I spend two to play God of Thunder. I spend God of Thunder to play Call for Backup. Call for Backup has three. I thwart Call for Backup <laughs> with Defender of the Nine Realms. Okay, I got this minion. I thwart it for three. I can search my deck and discard pile for an ally and put them into play. The thing is, this ally does not need to do a lot of damage. I mostly just need... Yes. Adam Warlock. Seems like the ally I would most like to get out of that. Either that or... I could do... Beta Ray Bill. But I have our Supremacy, so Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock it is. He'll be great for this. Um, so yeah, we're going to Air Supremacy. I spot two aerial allies, two aerial characters. They deal three damage to two guys. That'll be this one and this one. There we go. Now, Adam Warlock is going to punch Grey Crow. Uh, he didn't retaliate against this because it's not an attack. He doesn't retaliate now because he's defeated. And having attacked, uh, Adam Warlock discards a random card from my hand. It's a fist resource. When he discards, discards a fist resource, he removes three threat. Oh, come on. Not the one I wanted. Lady Sif's going to clear her stun status. And I'll punch Blockbuster. Because that's the easy way to do this. Okay. Seems solid. Kill my helmet. Draw a new four card hand. Okay, I can sneak attack Vivian. <laughs> One threat. Harpoon attacks me. Um, as before, this is probably less than three, so I guess he gets two. It unfortunately was three, so he gets three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ouch! I'm almost dead. I almost done a character I control, such as Lady Sif. <laughs> Did myself a single encounter card. It's get nasty. Place one threat here for each minion in play. Oh, that's annoying. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a nasty boy and reveal it. So, let's see. I have Gorgeous George, who's fine, because he does not activate. I guess nobody activates, because they all have teamwork. Uh, he's got toughness. I don't want to deal with toughness. He has Surge. This is a reveal. Reveal, so we don't want him. And when revealed, he stuns everybody. Which is super annoying. I don't want to be stunned. Uh, he has Retaliate 1. But I don't want to take minions out of the deck. 
because that's no fun. So, gorgeous choice it is. Hey, Georgie. I draft two cards. Alright, cool. I have a lightning strike. This is not that bad, really, in the grand scheme of things. But still, what's the point of playing Thor if you don't play that every chance you get, right? We need Thor Thor. And we get to draw two cards. Excellent. We can now play Asgard, which is a good card to play. Um, I still have no energies, so God of Thunder. <laughs> These lightning strikes aren't going to work. <laughs> well, things are bad for me here in hero form. I would really like to go alter ego and recover. If it's not too much to ask. So I know this is kind of wacky, but I think what I want to do is lightning strike for one. Uh, it still does four damage, which is pretty good. That kills Vertigo. Does one damage to Gorgeous George. One damage to Chimera. And one damage to Harpoon. I'm doing a great job of dealing with problems that I created. Mental is the one that I want for him. Well, alternatively, I could play build support and then I could thwart it with a fist. And then it clears it, and then I get to put Asgard into play. That'd be kind of cool. I'd like to have more than one health. Um, alternatively, I could just play Asgard, and Adam Warlock could punch, and then deal three damage here. And that really seems pretty good. Um, Chimera can scheme, that's fine. I'll just, well. It's not fine, fine. I mean, I could kill her and just not recover. kind of want to recover, though. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to punch Chimera. Oh, sorry. We're going to play Asgard for one, two, three for Asgard. Then we're going to punch Chimera, which discards a card. It's a mental. It does three damage to Gorgeous George. I'll just go ahead and punch Chimera. And Lady Sif is going to thwart Get nasty, so it's gone And then I'm going to go alter ego so I don't die And draw my 5 card hand Okay mm This is not supposed to be a Sky Destroyer It's a Queen Carrier If you watched me put that in my deck And said, what are you doing? You know, I saw that it was Sorry I saw that it was a Sky Destroyer, but then I was like, I just dismissed it. All right, one threat. Harpoon schemes four three. Let's see if we lose. Is it advance? It's not. It's slab. It's another minion. Those are always fun. All right. Now, if only I had sneak attack in this hand, that would be cool. But I do not. I super need to recover though. So I could play Captain Marvel. I'm not fully opposed to this idea. As long as she discards one energy, she can kill Slab. Of course, that's going to go over. Um, what else could I do? I'm almost done with my deck. 
one, two, three, four, five. I should have one more card. Thank you. It's Falcon. Arguably, Falcon's a better play. I kind of feel like he might be. And then I use... So I could use Falcon. He can use, he can punch him for two. Adam Warlock could hit this for one and, th and hit him for three. Um... Yeah, and we're just playing from Alter Ego this turn. And that seems fine. Okay, it's Falcon. What are the top three cards? It's a Treachery, a Side Scheme, and an Attachment. Great, so that's one threat removed. Also, we know that we're going to get Shadow of the Past for his boost, so that's three threat. And then we're gonna get this, which is even more threat, four threat. And we're gonna get this. To do that. Alternatively, I could just let him attack me. I could give him double boost. Oh, uh, no, he has overkill when he does that. Um, I could let him attack me and just take the three indirect damage. It's so bad. Ah, I hate Harpoon. He's like the hardest. <laughs> so I'm tended to let him scheme. I kill him. thing is, like, allies are just not useful here, so. Lady Sif just thwarts for two. Crazy zooming. Uh, Adam Warlock thwarts for two, for one, and is defeated. And discards a card from my hand. And it's mental, so he does three damage. Right. Yeah, and then he takes consequential and dies. So that all works out. And I just hang out here, Alter Ego, for another turn. There's some cards that I would have liked to have ages ago. Alright, one threat. He schemes for three. We get an encounter card. It's this card. It has four threat. And it discards cards until it gets this attachment, which attaches to him. Okay, we recover. Because we <laughs> really need to recover. Still not super happy with where things are. But that's okay. We have a command team now. And... Rabbit response. So that's cool. Falcon can thwart for two. Then we can use command team to ready him, and then he can thwart for two more, clearing this, getting defeated, and I can rapid response back into play with one damage, and I can get a preview of the next three cards. Cool. So we've got a, two, a one boost. Not bad. Uh minion that I definitely would like to get, and then a card that I would rather not get. So that's fine. And that was two treacheries, so he thwarts for two. Good job, Falcon. And that's why Rapid Response is one of the best cards in the game. Right there. Um, I don't have enough stuff to do anything with these cards. I might hold this command team, though. Hold on. Do I have another command team in here? Or is it my deck? in my deck. I don't really need three command teams. Out. So that means this is a command team, right? Yes, all my command teams. Cool. So 
So I'll just discard that one. Um, go ahead and basically zero that out. I'm still going to take, what, seven damage? No, I guess not. Okay, one threat. Harpoon attacks me, and I will take, and I take three indirect damage. So, Falcon absorbs four damage. I get a single encounter card. It's Riptide. So cool. I draw two cards. Alrighty. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's move two more. Plus that. That's three more, actually. So I think we kind of want to get a team building exercise out. Oh, we get to hold a card, huh? I'm going to go alter ego again. I'm going to recover. Because I seriously need hit points. This guy so, hits so hard. Okay, well this is an interesting way to do this, but it does work. Um, does it? No. So, I'm just curious. He's going to scheme for four. So that's four, five, six, seven, and then I get a random encounter card. Ah, it could kill me. She does two damage. We'll just command team. Ready. She does two more damage. So, we're going to hold the command team, not this. I would like to get another command team out because it makes sneak attacks really good. Oh, also, when she came into play, she raided me. I'm not full off. Alrighty. Great. One threat. He schemes for four. Do we lose? No, he got heavy armament. After I attack him, I can spend two resources of the same type to discard that card. Okay, well that's something I'm capable of doing. I'm going to go hero form, and I will Defender of the Nine Realms for Arclight. Let's remove three threat and draw two cards. Uh, why do I never draw sneak attack with expensive allies? <laughs> I can hold it. Um, so I can hammer throw now for just three. I have options of things to do. Man, I do not like that card. He's going to attack me again. I would rather he not attack me. And I have to spend two resources of the same type to clear that. Plus two attack, which I really do need to clear because he's so strong. Hmm. <laughs> Man, that just sucks. All right. One. I need to do the same resource. Uh, I can do those two. Two. Three. Hammer throw. Pulling the only back to hand. Five damage to Arclight. 
3 damage to Hidden in the Clutter. He attacks me. I will take 3 indirect damage. Lady Sif will block him. And take 5. I'll team building back, team building exercise back out Mjolnir. I'll punch him for three. He retaliates for two. I spend two matching resources to discard heavy armament. And then, having taken 15 billion stinking damage, I would really like to go on three go, but I can't. Oh, no, I got a double resource. All right, one threat. He attacks me. I'm oh, sorry. Already my guards. <sighs> Flipping A, man. Well, as noted, one is usually less than three. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Almost dead again. Let's see what we get this time. Look at his hair bag. Who draws me two cards when he surges into tag team? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the top most marauder minion. Being Arclight again, engages me. All the fun times. Let's defend the nine ropes. Because I need to remove some threat. Oh, wait. Um, is teamwork on exhaust, on reveal, or. enters play? I don't remember the teamwork rules. Where's the rules? In Genesis? In the campaign box? Where's the rules? These have rules in here. I don't see them. Ah, here we go. Rule books. Great. Uh, does the rule reference have it? I doubt it. Was it updated since... Maybe it was. Keywords. Do, do, do. I know how to spell. Teamwork. It did make it in here. All right. Cool. Enters play and engages the player. All right. So enters play and engages the player. So that means I have to absolutely oh, kill Hairbag first, because <laughs> chances are very good that was going to be. Exactly what it was, which is a nasty boy. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing that's making everything go so high. So, let's hope that fixes it. Alright, I got another minion. Draw two more cards. Move through that. Now you might say that that's not worth it, and I should stop. And you know what? You might be right. But I'm still going to keep doing it. So, ha. Alright. We're going to sneak attack Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill punches Arclight for three. Command team ready's Beta Ray Bill. He punches Arclight for three. Having defeated a minion, he removes two threat from the main scheme. 
then I will command team again. Ready, big hero bill. You can punch ramrod for three. Because he can. Oh, hold on. This one. Two. Rapid response. Yeah, he punches him for three. He takes a retaliate damage. Comes back into play with one damage on him. Due to rapid response. Yay! It all worked. Uh, except for then he has to punch it for three again. <laughs> so a little overkill. Never hurt anybody. I'm gonna hold death focus. Because that seems worth it. Okay, so... Five card hand. Okay, we can build support. I would like to build support. Alright, Harpoon has one threat. Oh, shoot. I go Alter Go. Not staying here for him. Okay, A schemes for one. Yay. And I got Virgo. Let me just shuffle my card. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good. I might be able to survive this. We have another God of Thunder. That focus. Um... One, two, three for Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock punches Vertigo for one. Beta Ray Bill punches her for three. And removes two threat from the main scheme. And that was just a build turn, but that's a fine build turn. I'm happy with that. I got five cards. One threat. My only problem here, really, is Harpoon attacking me for three plus a boost and three indirect damage. All right. Ouch, but that's why we block with allies. I take three, and I get another card. I really would like my helmet, but I don't have it. That's annoying. Uh, I'll exhaust a character I control to clear that, though, because annoying is way better than the kind of garbage I'm normally getting. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay, so there's a few things I could do here. I could hammer throw him. I could play Captain Marvel. Ooh, I could play Crew Quarters. Alright, let's see. One, two, three, Four, five. I like that. I can play out to Marvel and Crew Quarters. And that seems to be pretty effective. So we're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Captain Marvel. She discards top four cards of my deck, which is only two. Okay, those are both double resources. I knew that. So I just don't trigger her response. And then for one, we're going to play crew quarters. I don't know that I actually want that many things on top of my deck. But, as I noted before, my main problem here is that I have to keep healing. So much healing is necessary here. I'm not sure if I gave myself an encounter card last time I shuffled my deck. This is the second time. If I missed that... You can let me know in the comments. One, two, three. Also, let me know how badly I've played this game. Or how bad this deck is. Because this is really terrible. But it's fun. I don't know. Something like that.
Uh, I don't know how much threat that has. It's a lot. I got another minion. Okay. Mm so that's cool. Uh, Alright, <laughs> let me see how much this actually has. Two. Asgard guards. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Yeah, there you go. It's only at eight threat. Because <sighs> for a character that can't thwart, why not just make him have to deal with that much trouble? If these were energy, that would be awesome. I think it's still Lightning Strike, it'd still be pretty strong. And crew Quarters for one. And flipped Hero Form. And we will Defender of the Nine Realms. Still. For gorgeous George. Removing three threat from the main scheme. And drawing two cards. That are, of course, not energies, but they're almost as good because it's Aerial Supremacy. So we play Aerial Supremacy, spotting one, two, three aerial characters. To deal three damage here, here, and here. Which is really pretty nice. <laughs> this hand is terrible. So I'll use the one card that's useful with both my gods of thunder to deal two damage to everybody um, interrupt, force interrupt when he would be defeated, let's get the top card it's not a treachery so he's defeated great, good times all defeated I wonder if I missed a toughness I think I missed a toughness Adam Warlock. Oh, sorry, he took two damage. Adam Warlock's gonna punch him and discard a random card from my hand. It's a fist resource. Mr. Chuck from his game. Guess, may as well. Captain Marvel's gonna thwart that for two. That's what she does. And I'm gonna punch this dude for three. Because that's what I do. This card sneak attack. Keep a double resource. Draw to my hand size. One threat. <sighs> Harpoon attacks me. He defends. I take three indirect damage. Five for Adam Warlock. Because I got him right. He was supposed to be tough. I think, think I made him tough. I get an encounter card. It's Assault. He attacks me again. Alright, this time I'll just take it to the face. Three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> he is so hard. So hard all the time. He hit me, so I'm stunned. So hard. Awesome, that's two threat. It's a command team. Well, I got gold regal. <laughs> um, how much health does he have? Three. Okay, actually, I'm not gonna go regal. No, I'm stunned. <sighs> That's fine. Who cares? I don't care if I'm stunned. I defeat him. Uh, when would be defeated? Reset his hit points to the printed value and flip it. He gets six extra hit points. So that's 19 hit points. Um, oh, I haven't been doing that, have I? That's on both sides, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. So he gets this enemy who's tough. Oh, shoot. I 
forgot they were tough. Each Marauder enemy a tough status card. He's a Marauder enemy as well. Hmm. Well, that ruins what I was going to do. Because I was going to clear my stun status and then hammer throw. But I can't do that. Oh, wow, this goes up two per turn? Man. Well, I just lost, I think. That's all right. I'd already lost. I already cheated so much on this game. Air Supremacy. I choose two enemies. Deal three damage to each of them. Air Supremacy. I choose two enemies. I deal three damage to each of them. I flipped all through go. I recover. Mm, you know what? I'll go ahead and spend one of my command teams to ready her and she's going to kill Kimmer. <laughs> Alright, six card hand. Let's see if he schemes. For three. And I get an encounter card. Exhaust a character I control. None of those people are in play. So that's all it does. It's annoying and exhaust though. This is a very annoying exhaust. Is what I tried to say. Because I can't clear my stupid comp stun test. <laughs> ah! Hmm. Well, let's see. I have to not die. So, best way to do that is to better the items. An even better way to do that would have been to not be stunned at the moment, but that's not a situation that I'm in, so. Okay, well that's helpful. Uh, let's see, can I play Thor's Helmet and Falcon? I can. If I could do a little bit more too. Just a little bit more, not quite enough more. One, two, three. So I play my helmet, that gives me five hit points. Which is good, because that's going to keep me alive. Two, three, four, to play Falcon. Who found two treacheries? Alright. Um, I'm gonna have a. There's a two boost there. Or my obligation. Hmm. You know. That's not the worst thing ever. This is going to add 3 threat to the main scheme. I can take a punch. Hmm. It's definitely a consideration. So Falcon, I'm going to punch this guy and take Retaliate. And then, kind of need to ready him so he can punch him again. So he's dead. Uh, well, 
I at least didn't lose. I'll hold on to rapid response, because it's a useful card. And I'll take the free alter ego flip, I think. Okay, that goes up by three. He attacks me with two boosts, which are both single. So I take six damage. I get an encounter card. It's Odin's Anger, which discards me only and flips me to Alter Ego. And stuns me, but I'm already stunned. So that's fine. I pull my Mjolnir back into hand. Um, I need 16 damage stat. Hammer Throw would have made that easier. But I didn't draw a hammer throw. Uh, let's see, I die if I take a hit. So I think that's where we need to do it. Sneak attack, Lady Sif. Two for a rapid response. Team Vengeance dies in Mjolnir. Uh, Mjolnir Mjolnir Mjolnir. Lady Sif readies me. I clear my stun status. She's going to thwart for two so I don't lose. She's going to punch him for two. She's going to punch him for two more, be defeated, rapid response back into play with one damage, and punch him for two more. Because that's how this whole thing works. Five card hand. Three threat. He attacks me. Uh, Lady Sif defends. I take three indirect damage. And Lady Zif takes six. Because <sighs> he is so hard. Not under fire. Oh, that's a one defeated, not one revealed. Did I do that last time? I'm not sure I did it. Uh, in, in any case. Oh, he schemes. For three, and we lose. Oh, there you go. Advance. The bane of solo play. If I had thwarted this for two more, I wouldn't have lost. There. I didn't lose. Just because we can make it so we didn't lose. Um. Yeah, I think this is pretty much game. Let's see. We go one, two, three for a hammer throw for eight. We punch him for three, and then um, one for lightning strike for one, and that would have won the game. So, yeah, if I just thwarted for one more, or thwarted with Sif instead of punching him one of those times, then I could have made it. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, Harpoon is rough. Rough, rough, rough. Um. Yeah, no. One short. Yep. No idea. Oh wait, no. Because I had to pay for this with the resource, right? This was my hand, so I think I actually could have gone one, two, three, four, five for a better rebuild, and he could have punched him. Doesn't remove any threat, because it wasn't a minion. But he still could have done it. Alright, so, anyways, yeah. Damage wasn't really a problem there at the end. Um, command teams, sneak attacking. Sneak attack's fun. It's just a fun deck. Uh, it's a fun deck for Thor, because you can do all the aerial stuff, and have him be Ariel and Asgard, and all those fun things. 
Um, obviously, it's not like a con super consistent deck. Would really want more allies uh, than the six that I limit it to, but you know, it functions in some kind of wacky way. Let's Thor take on on the run, which is not difficult scenario exactly, but it's not easy. Um, I definitely screwed up some stuff though. Like I missed a bunch of things, like the forced interrupt on the hopes capture I forgot about. Um, I think I missed a th tough status on at least one minion because I don't read cards. But, well, in the end, we can claim this as a uh, loss, but not a terrible, horrible loss for the deck. Uh -huh, and I had fun, so, you know, that's a win. Alright, anyways, um, happy new year to everybody again. And uh, I have the Ant-Man video put together. Should get it posted here in a minute. Um, maybe next week. And then we'll keep on going. And I hope you all had fun. I'll see you next time.